Hey everybody, welcome to the video. I'm Trevor and this morning I'm going to show you guys how to create and set up a blogger blog that can connect in with your Volusion e-commerce website. I'm going to show you step by step. It's actually pretty easy to do, but there's just a few steps involved. So number one, I'm going to make notes here for you guys as we're doing this. Number one, um, you really need to have a Gmail account. So I'm going to say set up a Gmail account in the name of your business. And not even that it necessarily needs to be um, in the name of your business. It can really be anything, but it needs to be a Gmail account. So, you know, whatever, XYZ company at gmail.com. Okay, have that done. Now, once you've got that set up, and I've got an example case right here, uh, what you can do is you can come right up here to the top right. I know this might be hard to see, but there's this little apps icon here at the top right, okay? So I'm going to click on apps, and it's going to bring up this little menu. And I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to find what's called Blogger, okay? Blogger is a very, very popular blogging back-end um, program. It's free. doesn't cost anything. And it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So when you get here, you're going to create a new blog. And you can title it. We're going to do this for a website called Uptown Pearl. So I'm going to call it Uptown Pearl's blog. Or I could just do Uptown Pearl blog. Okay. Uh, the domain name is uptownpearl.com. So I'm going to call it Uptown Pearl blog. And then the address for the blog, I'll probably call it my domain name uptownpearl.blogspot.com. Now, if that's taken, it'll tell me. See, it's saying it's got me a little check right here, meaning that it's available. If it were taken, I'd have to come up with something else. This actually isn't as significant as you think. So if you don't get exactly what you want, that's fine. We're going to sort of change that address anyway. And then it says choose a template. I'm just going to pick whatever's there by default because we can change that. And then I'm going to hit create blog. And now, magically, my blog has been created. So I've got Uptown Pearl blog right here. I'm going to click on it once. And I'm going to hit no thanks on this. That will probably notify you the first time. No thanks. And I'm here on my blog overview. Okay, This is kind of like my back end. If you use Volusion, you've got your own Volusion back end. Well, this is your blog's back end going to be a little different than Volusion, but it's very similar in a lot of respects. A lot of web building platforms, blogging platforms, they're, they're all very similar in a lot of respects. Once you've used one, you, you, you've used them all um, with some small differences. So let me go to my notes again. I'm going to say create blog using apps like I just showed you, right? Number three, um, I'm going to say uh, change your blog address, okay? Now, what I mean by this is right now, the way I set this up, if I come up to this button and hit view blog, okay, I know this doesn't look very good, but it, it will change the look of it here in just a minute. It says up here at the top, my blog address is Uptown Pearl dot blogspot dot com. The problem with that web address from an SEO standpoint is that as I build the value of this blog and I'm getting inbound links and I'm trying to develop some credibility with Google, it doesn't help my e-commerce site develop credibility because it's built on the blogspot domain. I want to change this formatting for the web address. Because all the link building, all the effort I put into it, I want it building credibility and authority into my actual real domain name. And in this case, my domain name is uptownpearl.com. Now we've learned, and you may know this, that as a site like this builds links and gets other websites to link into it, this site will tend to rank higher in Google. Well, a blog in part is is used so that it can attract interest and build links. But if the blog isn't on my domain, if it's instead on 
blogspot.com instead of uptownpearl.com, all the work here isn't going to impact my e-commerce site at all. I shouldn't say at all, but not nearly as significantly. So what I want to do is I want to change the address. What I really want my address to be, I'm going to say instead of .blogspot.com, um, I want blog.uptownpearl.com. That's what I want. If I can get that address as my blog builds, um, it's going to help my e-commerce website rank as well. Okay? I won't go into the nuances of that other than to say any legit blog isn't going to be built on the blog spot. It's going to be built on its own domain, and we can switch that up. Now, here's the key. And I'm going to show you how to do this. You come right down here to Settings. And I'm going to click here where it says set up a third-party URL for this blog. So I'm going to click edit there. And then I'm going to type in my domain, blog.uptownpearl.com, because that's what I want it to be. It's not www.blog.uptownpearl. It's just blog.uptownpearl.com. And I'm going to hit save. And when I hit save, it's going to give me this error. It's going to say, that doesn't work. Well. At that point in time, I want you to contact your coach and they can change some settings in on your site. Now it gets a little technical, but that's why I'm gonna have you contact your coach. They can help you change these settings right here inside what's called my.volusion. Now, your coach will know what to do. I, we don't typically have our clients do this because it, again, it gets a little technical. Um, let them take that code and input it into the server so that the change takes place. And sometimes it takes a day or so for it to happen. So if you emailed your coach and asked them to make that change, it might take about a day or so once they do it. But once they do it, instead of your site being uptownpearl.blogspot.com, it's going to be blog.uptownpearl.com. To you, may that may not seem significant, but I promise you it's very significant in the world of SEO. We want that done, okay? Um, so that's it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that here in our notes. I might say uh, A here under three, contact your coach or contact your mentor and, and have them help you out with that if it's, if it's a little over your head. Um, I'm not even going to show you the details of it right now because I, I just think it's worth it just to have your, your mentor do it for you. So contact your coach. Um, here's what they need. They need one um, Gmail account. Login. Um, and that should be it. And of course, they'll have your domain name, so they won't need that. So they need your Gmail account login, that way they can get here into the back end of your blog. Or you can just send them this information too if you want to. They need this right here, all of that data, perfectly copied and pasted over to them. But I would actually give them access to, to your Gmail so they can get into your blog. Then they can make, they can make this little switch for you. Okay, so next step, um, I'm gonna say choose a template for your blog. Um, I'm going to put that as number four, choose a template. And guys, this blog should evolve and change over time, but we want to make it look nice here at the beginning. Um, so I'm going to make a, make a recommendation to you. I'm going to leave this page. And if I were you, I would choose a very basic template, a nice white, like not a lot of color or anything, unless you can find one that matches your color scheme. White, clean. That's kind of what you want. I'm going to choose this one right here and hit apply to blog. That's my new template. Now if I hit view blog, I get this giant white page. Now it doesn't look like much now, but let me show you what's going to happen here. So I want to customize this a little bit because it just looks so plain, right? I need my logo here on the top. And I, I typically, if I can get a picture of my logo, I can just upload it in there. So for example, here's, here's the logo. 
I've I've actually let me just grab a picture of this thing real quick. And if you don't know how to get a picture of your logo, um, contact your coach. He can help you with that. I got a picture now of my logo. Okay. And I'm going to upload it onto my blog. Let me show you how I do that. I'm going to go to layout right here on the left. I'm going to go to Uptown Pro Blog Header and click Edit. And I'm going to choose a file from my computer, which I've got a file. I just I just grabbed one of my my uh, logo, and I'm going to upload it in here. Okay, and there it is. It's uploaded in. And then I'm going to choose this option instead of title and description, and I'm going to hit save. Save arrangement right over here, and I'm going to hit view blog, and now. I look like I actually look like I'm related to my site, right? I've got my Uptown Pearl logo right here. My content's going to go in below, but you want to get your logo up there and you want to get a template chosen. So I'm going to go back here, choose template, and then I'm going to say five, upload your logo to your header. Okay. All right. Number six. It's time to put a little content on the site, All right? Looks pretty, looks pretty plain Jane right now. So let's let's get some content on there. Um, you can hit post right here on your left, post, and you can um, you can see I have no current post, so I need to create one. Either I can hit this button, create a new post, or I click this orange button at the top left, new post, and I can create my first blog post. So I'm going to call this. Welcome to Uptown Pearl's first blog post. Now I'm not going to create a real blog post here. I'm just going to put in a bunch of a bunch of garbage content in here just to just to kind of give you guys the idea of what it might look like. Okay, whatever. There's my content. And then I can add an image if I want, right? To make this look a little more interesting, I can come up here to this image icon. Um, I can choose a file from my computer to add on, see if I've got anything that that I can add on here. I'll add on this one right here. Just a picture I've got on my computer already. I'm gonna add that. There's my picture, okay? And now I can save it. Or I can publish it. If I publish it, it goes live onto the blog. If I save it, it just saves my work here. So I'm going to hit publish. So you guys can kind of see what this would look like now. Then I'm going to come back here and hit view blog. Sure enough, there's my very first blog post. Okay. I know this is very plain Jane, right? But I think it looks nice. I think it looks clean. I think it looks simple. Um, and you're going to use this blog to really help build some of your marketing and SEO. Now don't worry, you don't need to be some sort of great author or writer. Even me, a guy who graduated running numbers and in business finance, I've learned over the time over time to do a little bit of writing. Uh, but you don't have to do your own writing. You can you can hire it out, of course. But that's more of a discussion for another time. I just wanted to teach you guys how to get your blog set up so you can actually start using it. Um, and it's ready to go. This this is set up. I could start creating content. And then if I want to access my blog in the future, say I close out all my windows here. If I'm just on my Gmail, I can come right up here to the top right, click on my apps. And right here, I can click Blogger. And sure enough, there's my new blog. I can view it if I want. I can click on the link to add, to edit it, which is what I'll do right now. And there we go, we're back to that screen. Um, now what you probably should do, and what I should be doing right now, let me just check my notes here. We're gonna say add content, so it doesn't look so blank. And what type of content? Well, that's that's a topic for another time. I just wanna show you how to set up your, your blog. Um, you might wanna link your website to your blog. Okay, that's probably the last step that I would do. So if I were going to do that, I would go to uptownpearl.com. I would log in and I would probably create 
a little link down here in the footer for the blog. And if you don't know how to do that, that's okay. You know, we'll have you we'll have you work with your coach on that. But I would make sure there's a link here so that they they connect to each other. But I'm telling you right now, a blog is such a big marketing tool. Uh, E-commerce sites need it. They need it because there's a lot of opportunity to pull search engine rankings, to drive traffic from your blog to your e-commerce store, to get inbound links. It's like a, a link magnet. It can it can help your your uh, overall e-commerce site link higher because your blog is getting links. A lot of benefit. It's definitely something you guys need. So hopefully you can follow those steps and you can set one up for yourself. Uh, really not too hard. Hopefully that was instructive and can help you guys out. If you have any other questions, you know where to find us. Um, go ahead and contact your coach and we'll see you next time.